Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 My name is Kathy Brox, and this is the LUTG Radio Show on LUTGradio.com, WKKP Digital Broadcasting. Again, I apologize for starting. <clears throat> uh, amen. A little bit late. Uh, we are going to um, put on our full armor of God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day. Thank you, Lord God, for waking us up. Thank you, Lord God, for your peace. Amen. Your glory, your honor, your love. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lamb of God. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for burning up the dross in our life. Thank you, Lord God, for the love that you give us. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your peace that is eternal. Thank you, Lord, for our salvation. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to make our home in you. Amen. For you be, for you deserve all the glory, the honor, the power, and the praise. Yours is the kingdom, and you let you let us live there with you. I just thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, that you give us the courage to say no to the enemy continually as he continues to try and get us to leave you. And to come and serve him, which is absolute perishing. I thank you, Lord God, that we say no every time. Give us the wisdom to say no. Amen. Every Jew and every Gentile. Give us the wisdom, Lord God, and the courage to say no. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, so go to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 17. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Thank you, Lord. We say yes to you. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching thereunto with all uh, perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Amen. I begin to thank God that you are not deceived. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord God, that the body of Christ is not deceived. I thank you, Lord God, that the layman, I'm not sure saying the layman, yeah. But not the, uh, the, the uh, our neighbors, that our neighbors are not deceived, that the unsaved, are not deceived concerning the things of you and concerning man. I thank you, Lord God, that the enemy is not, can, not um, the, the enemy. we want the enemy deceived at all times, but man is not deceived concerning the image of man, the image, the voice of man, man, period. Amen. Go to Numbers chapter 6, verse 24. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God and him Will I trust? Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. 
His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, and the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? Uh, go to Isaiah. That was Psalms 91. Isaiah 54, 17. Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment. Thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Amen, amen. To God be all the glory. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Go to, um, you're listening to LUTGradio.com, WKKP Digital Broadcasting. Amen. My name is Kathy Brox, and this is the LUTG Radio Show. And today is a very happy Friday. Today is a very, a very, 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 very happy Friday. And so, hallelujah. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Um, for some of you people out there, you have the, you have a gift of, you're like a seer in the spirit. You see things in the spirit. So you see both the natural world and the spiritual world. And sometimes those two overlap and sometimes it's difficult to discern the spirit world, world from the um, natural world. And so you want to be careful with that. Um, I pray and I ask that you would pray that you uh, that you will always be able to call on the name Jesus because God will deliver you from evil. And so when you get confused about or you're not sure what you're seeing or people look at you're talking to someone and people look at you all strange, like why is the person talking to themselves? Uh, that's an indication that you may be talking to a spirit because sometimes we entertain angels unaware that would be god's angel and not god's angels and so uh you you want to be careful um test everything test everything and so just call on the name of jesus um i've even had uh uh things spirit spirits that were not from god to say that they worship jesus but they didn't say jesus christ and so uh, there are many different gods out there that will call themselves Jesus. Even the Lord said so. They'll call themselves Jesus, but they're not. I mean, or that they'll, they'll call themselves Jesus, and of course they're not. And then they'll say things like they worship God. And you got to be careful. I heard on, uh, I heard, uh, I've been hearing this a lot lately. Uh, from people that are not Christians and from Christians. They'll say things like, you know, it doesn't matter what road you go to. Uh all roads lead to Jesus. All roads lead to heaven. <laughs> I told you this before. That is a true statement. It's a true statement. All roads do lead to heaven. But it depends on. They don't all lead to righteousness. See, all roads will lead to heaven because you will get judgment. You're going to go there for judgment. Judgment. Now, you can either get judged where the blood of Jesus will speak for you if you say. If you ain't saved, guess who's speaking for you? The enemy. The enemy and everything that you have done, no matter if you had just before you died, 
If you just did something good for somebody, you helped the old lady across the street. You bought somebody groceries. God will be like, well, thank you very much. They're going to be blessed by that. Hallelujah. However, you have denied Christ your entire life. And that person that was telling you about Jesus, they said, well, thank you, Jesus. I, I thank you, Lord, for sending somebody to help me with these groceries or sending somebody to bring me groceries or to buy me groceries. Thank you, Lord God. I was praying. And you said to that person, there ain't no Jesus. I'm buying this. And they said, child, you don't know. Jesus is using you. And you said, I don't believe in Jesus. There ain't no Jesus. And that person said, no, child, Jesus is real and Jesus is alive. As a matter of fact, Jesus loves you. And I think you should give your heart to him right now because your time is running short. And you like, I'm young. I'm 25. I'm 35. I'm only 40. I'm only 50. I'm only 60. I'm only 10. I'm only 17. Ain't nothing going to happen to me. You drop dead right there in the stone. They go, oh, you all right, baby? Oh, this person just bought me groceries and they done dropped dead, Lord. Jesus, what you want me to do? See, this person, they've been trained in evangelism, but they they ain't really been trained. They've been trained in how to lead people to Christ, but the pastor was just going to get to this week on how to revive people from the dead. And so they a week short on, you know, reviving dead people. So she going, baby, you okay there? Did, did you tumble? Are you, you, you going to wake up and she trying to get down there and she trying to nudge you a little bit. You, you all right. You all right. And you falling and falling and falling. You're going, ah, ah, thud. You look around. You're like, what the freak? You're scratching your head. Like, yo, man, can somebody turn the light on? Yo, Jesus, where you at? And well, I. I shouldn't say that because you can't really say the name Jesus. <laughs> you don't remember. You remember this goodness, but you can't remember his name. So you wondering where the light at. And oftentimes when you think of light, you think of God. You're like, where the light at? What the freak? Where am I? And then all of a sudden you see something moving, but it's so dark. You're like, what the freak could be moving? It's so dark. You hear something. Just moving. Moving. Just sliding. Gliding across the floor. And then suddenly you hear. And you straight tripping. You feel like you done peed your pants. You like. And you go. Oh no. Something pierce your chest. And it's their long fingernail. It's a long fingernail. And you're like, oh! And they're laughing. 
and they start biting on you and pulling at you and scraping you and scratching you. And you're like, oh, save me now. Help, help, oh, help, help, help. And you're just, oh. and the lady going, baby, baby. And she get the feeling she knows that she, she's sensing that you are in hell. And she going, God, help me. Help me to help this person that blessed me, Lord God. Help me to help them. And God says, lay hands on them and repeat after me. She says, okay, Lord. And the Lord says, death, I rebuke you now. She says, death, I rebuke you now. In the name of Jesus, she says, in the name of Jesus, rise, child, rise. You cannot have this child, devil. Rise, child, rise. In the name of Jesus, you shall live and not die. The moment she began to speak, the this person saw something pierce the darkness. And as soon as that light pierced the darkness, those demons said, uh, uh, No, no, they belong to us. This person, this, she belongs to us. Belongs to us. She belongs to us. He belongs to us ah the light keeps getting bigger and bigger you start to you start to float up and it's like you moving fast you moving like you moving like a thousand miles an hour a million miles an hour and you're going thrusters are on right now you're like and you, they trying to call your name and trying to get you to look back because the problem is if you look back and if you desire to go to the voice that is calling you, you'll sink down. But God is moving fast. He's moving faster than light. And he's going. <laughs> you have now passed through the earth and you are passing through the atmosphere. You're passing through the galaxies and you are going straight up to heaven. This time you see darkness, but you see stars. And that was a, that was other planets and the stars in he, in heavens and you're all you're all the way up all the way up and whoosh, you enter into heaven where there is absolute peace and suddenly there is stillness. You turn and you look, and there is Jesus, and you start to cry, and you say. Thank you. Thank you. What must I do to be saved? Are you going to let me stay? Are you going to let me go home to my parents? I want to I want to go home to my family, but I don't want to live the way I was living before. What must I do to be saved? And Jesus says, "Give me your life." I got a plan for your life. I want you to tell people about what you just experienced and how I brought you out of hell. Give me your life. Be forgiven of all your sins. Give me your life. And you say, yes, Lord Jesus. I surrender. I know that you are real and that you are alive. And I acknowledge that you defeated death, hell, and the grave for my salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. You're like, how can I, how can she have all these words? Because in heaven, you know everything. And so God says, I'm going to put you back in your body. And you're going to know what your talents are. You're going to be able to play instruments. You're going to be good at building companies. You're going to be good 
at winning souls for the kingdom and you're going to heal. You're going to do everything I did in the earth and greater. You shall be the John 14 and 12. I want you to read my word every day. I want you to read John 14 every day. The whole chapter every single day. Don't miss. I want you to be reading the Bible every day. The Holy Spirit is in the earth and he's going to lead you in the way to go. And he shows you these cots, these empty cots, like wartime cots. And he says, you see that? Those cots. You must go back for them. You can't just do works anymore. You got to go and tell people about me. There's people that are in danger of going to hell like you just got you went but there won't be anybody around to pray for them you must tell people about me he says I will train you up the Holy Spirit will lead you in the way to go and he says there's a church on a corner from your house I want you to go there and to stay there and to serve there until I tell you to leave. He says, you will remember everything I've just told you. Everything. And then suddenly, he hears your heart say, I want to see my grandmother. Can I see my grandmother? And suddenly, grandma walks up. Hi, baby. How you doing? I'm okay. Heaven is beautiful. I'm okay. I'm okay. Go ahead. You can do this. I'll see you later on. Know that I'm in your heart always. Don't be so sad that I'm gone. I'm with you always. See, Jesus had already told Grandma to come on up. Because he knew in your heart you was blaming him for her dying. Because she was the only one that showed you mercy and love and kindness. She was the most kindest person to you. If she ate, you ate. If she had a new pair of socks, you had a new pair of socks. If she bought herself a pair of pants, she bought you a pair of pants and a shirt. If she went and got her hair done at the hairdresser, she brought you along to get your hair done. Grandma took care of you. And when she left, she left your inheritance. But it was stolen from you. And God said, don't worry about it. I'm going I'm to make sure you get that inheritance times seven. And I got more for you. Don't be bitter about that. Forgive everyone. Forgive everyone. And then he says, I'm going to put you back in your body now. And I'm going to take away all the pain because they was doing CPR on you. You're going to wake up completely healed in your whole body. You ain't going to even need glasses no more. Completely healed. You'll be able to have children. You're going to get married. Your children, you're going to be work as a family for the gospel, for the kingdom of God. And your husband will never cheat on you and you'll never cheat on him. Your children will be obedient. All you have to do is love them and train them up in the word, the way to go. Exercise patience. Love them the way I love you. And you're like, okay, help me. See, God will give you instructions. A lot of us sometimes think, well, if I'm in heaven and God is giving me an instruction, that means I can do it by myself. Uh Uh-uh-uh. Don't fall into pride. You still need God. Because you'll still be in the earth dealing with all kinds of trials and tribulations. And so anyway, the person is put back in their body. They wake up. They sit up and they go, Thank you. I saw God. I went to hell and he brought me out. I saw Jesus. Jesus is real. 
Jesus is real. And you are flat out just like, I got to tell everybody. And everybody's like, what? Because you're in a store where people believe in statues and lettuce heads and all kinds of different things. And there's even different statues or whatever in the store. But it's the closest grocery store in the neighborhood. One of the biggest. And so you start telling them about Jesus. And there's about a good 50 people surrounding you. And you start telling them about the goodness of God. And you ain't even cracked over in the Bible. But how do you know the goodness of God? You experienced it. And he brought he brought it alive in your heart. He made, When you got saved and when you surrendered to God, the word of God that is on the inside of you gets revealed to you. And he... He gave you some words to say. He was the words you would, the words this person was speaking. God was putting in their mouth to say it. But but the one thing he was doing, the person was doing, was giving the testimony of their experience. And the one thing every person always says when they meet Jesus, he is so kind and so loving. It's like liquid love poured all over you. He is so kind. And so generous. I wanted, I wanted to stay, but I wanted to come home. I wanted, I wanted to tell somebody. I, I wanted to see my mom on them. I, but I wanted to stay. I saw my grandma. She okay? I saw my grandma. And then people are standing around, and they started telling this person, "You got this and this going on." God said this. You got this and this going on. God said this. You got this and this going on. And you don't know these people. Person, he don't even, she, he, she don't, they don't even know this person. They don't know these people. They just tell them stuff about their about they private lives that don't nobody know. And like, God said he loves you. He says, I'm going to dry up your tears. No more sorrow for you. God says he loves you. And the person starts crying because... The night before, they had been saying, Lord God, nobody loves me. Lord God, do you love me? I might as well die because nobody loves me. Not Lord, come bring me home. But as in suicide, they wanted to take their life because they didn't feel love. Every moment, every place, every time they showed their face in public or to someone, there was a ridicule. Every time they open their mouth, even to say good morning, there was a ridicule. If they looked at, if they tuned in to some live stream on social media, there was a ridicule and they would get blocked. And they're like, I don't understand why I'm hated so much. And they're crying out to God. I don't understand. They have more than I do. They have more friends. They have more money. They can pay their own the bills. They're blessed and they, they hate me and they don't really know me. They just show, they're just shelling out hate. I don't understand God. And they're crying on their bed. And they're crying on their bed. Lord God, I'm getting catfished all the time. They think it's funny. They call me things. They call me names. And they think it's funny. Just the other day, Lord, Christian said some things to me that was not cool. Accused me of calling somebody a thief. I didn't even know that they had done what they had done. So it wasn't me calling him a thief, Lord. It was that person calling him a thief, revealing what they had done. I didn't even know that they had done that to me. I didn't even know. And you're crying out to God. God, why? Why? What? They stole my songs. They stole my music. They stole my money out of my account. I had to get a loan to go to college because they stole my college money. Lord. And you're crying and you're crying. And this person's telling you, God said, it's going to be all right. 
He says to the other person, your uncle stole your inheritance, but God is going to restore it with interest. Tells another person, the will that you are looking for, that your husband hid away, is up under the cal- it's on, up under the calendar in his desk. You like I looked on top of the desk. There's a calendar inside of the desk drawer in the middle is locked and you don't have a key. The key is on the right side in the cubby hole. If you would just reach your hand in all the way back, you will find the key. God will be very specific with you. He'll tell you what things are. Sometimes we be looking for stuff. And we're like, God, I can't find it. And you need it because some of y'all are like, I'm on my last dollar and I need this thing to pay my rent. We, you be crying out, Lord God. You know how you help the lady with the whose son, whose husband died and left her with debt, and the the, the debtors were the collectors was coming to take her son to work off the debt, and you like and you like, Lord God, help me the way you helped her. I got some cooking oil here. I got some motor oil here. Would you please multiply this, Lord God? I got some T-shirts here. Would you multiply it so I can sell it, Lord God? I got I got a couple dollars here. Do you multiply dollars? I got two dollars here. Can you turn that into two million? I gotta pay these debts. Make me rich, Lord. I, I got five. I, look, make you, you sent a caravan, twenty caravans to Jesus. He was a baby. Where's mine, God? Please help me, cause I got debts and there's things I want to do for you too, for the kingdom of God. But I ain't got no money. I'm getting punished because. I pray to you because I believe in you. I'm, I'm getting punished, God. Help. Help. They're telling me because I say that I don't have any money is the reason why they won't give me any money, won't give me what belongs to me. That was mine. Well, God, there's people using my name and they're getting jobs that should have gone to me, but they're using my name and they got my social security number somehow. This other person is selling my social security number. This other person has been been putting money in a 401k and pretending to be me. And I kept wondering why they would walk. I would walk into a certain place and they'd be like, you rich. And I'm like, what? I am. I'm like, okay, I received that. In the name of Jesus, I received that. And like, no, you're rich. You're like, okay. Where's that? Nah. And God would send angels to, to, to these people and say, so-and-so ain't got no money. Would you give them some money? I don't like her. That's your family. I don't care. She ain't got no money, no job, need money. And you're like, I forgive. I forgive. Lord God, make me rich. And so you're calling on God and you're praying and you're praying to God and you're calling on God and you believe in God. Because the Lord said, I will make you rich according to my riches and glory. And so all these prayers, all of these people were praying and all these things they were telling God, God put it in that one person says, go tell them this, that deliverance, I will deliver them from evil. I will deliver them from evil. I lead them not into temptation. I will deliver them from evil. Tell them to stay in forgiveness continually. Stay in forgiveness continually because the enemy keeps bringing bringing up things that people have done to them that I have delivered them from. And he keeps pressing that button and trying to make it so the more he presses that button and reminds them of the rape and the assault and the theft and the fornication and the abuse and the beatdowns. He's driving a nail into them continuously. He's trying to get you to return to sin. He's trying to get you to curse them because the moment that you hold unforgiveness, the moment you open the door to unforgiveness, a flood of demons come in and block your blessing. They put up a wall between you and your blessing. 
They block the way from you to get to heaven. So he says, I want you to stay in forgiveness. Keep that door to sin. Those doors to sin, keep them closed. Lock them. Break the key. Stay in unforgiveness. Y'all like, are you talking about you, Captain? These are scenarios for everybody. I mean, I've seen this countless of times on social media. I can't tell you all the things I've been seeing in all these videos. <laughs> I've been seeing a whole bunch of stuff in these videos. And some of the stuff will make you go, Err? Err? Really? That really happened? Wow. And so, I give you these examples because I want you to get saved. I don't want you to be the rich man in the rich man in Lazarus story. Lazarus goes to heaven, but the rich man that had everything in the world went to hell because he would not extend mercy to Lazarus. He would not love Lazarus the way he loved himself. He had all the money in, I mean, his money kept doubling and doubling and doubling so much that he had to build bigger, bigger barnyards to hold it in, right? That means you got plenty. You could have shared some with him. To go to get a doctor. You could have provided a doctor for him. You could have just let him in the house to sleep by the fire. Rich man didn't do none of that. Rich man went to hell. Lazarus went to the holy fire. He good now. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And you want to. Now's the perfect time. Give your heart to the God. To, to the Lord God Almighty, Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. There is only one God that saves your soul. His name is Jesus Christ. He's the only one that paid the price on the cross. He's the only one blood, uh, born uh, free of sin. Amen. The Lord God lured himself into man that he may have permission to come into the earth to pay the price for the sins of Adam and Eve. Amen. And the first man, uh, the, the head, the head of man created by God. So I want you to make this prayer. Glory to God. Say this prayer after me. If you want to be saved and forgiven of your sins, Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I give up my past life with Satan and close every door to all Satan's devices. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was from this day forward, Lord Jesus. I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you, Lord Jesus. I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart. I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in this earth and the salt that gives it flavor. And from this day forward, I will live for you, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus and share the gospel of Christ Jesus with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. With the evidence of speaking in tongues and interpreting tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. You just got saved on the LUTGradio.com WKKP digital broadcasting. Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. Amen. Uh, go to uh, the web. Go to our webpage, lutgradio.com, and um, click on salvation. Just hover over it and go down to the ten-week uh, scriptures uh, class, and uh, you can. Uh, uh, that's the foundations course, and so you can uh, take that course and uh, learn about who you are in Christ Jesus and who He is to you. Amen. It's a ten-week course. It's some scriptures. Amen. Go ahead and start it. Uh, let me know that you started the course. Amen. I like to know. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, there is uh, there is a there's also a page called Foundations. 
And you can read over that too. That gives you a little bit of information about who God is to, uh, who he is to you and it gives you some deliverance scriptures and some, um, uh, scriptures of favor. And so you, um, you can check that out. Uh, gives you some answered, uh, prayer scriptures, uh, agreeing with God. And so some good stuff, uh, on that page, on the foundations page and, uh, some definitely some good, some good stuff on every page here for LUTGradio.com. And so definitely check it out. Amen. And let me know that you got saved. Uh, tell somebody about Jesus. Tell them how you got saved. You can just send them over to LUTGradio.com. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, um, you can also check out our resource page. And uh, you can also um, become a sponsor at any amount. And um, I took down. Oh, you can also check. You can also become a sponsor through the affiliate sponsoring. Uh, just click on one of the, the logos um, on the page and get yourself. a. I need you all. I want you to also not need you, but I. I want you to get yourself a paperback Bible and a digital Bible, uh, something like an app for your phone, Version Gateway. Those are free. Um, and then you can get yourself a Bible um, here on the website. When you do that, that blesses us, L-U-T, me, so I can continue doing this and um, hire somebody soon. Uh, and so or if you're looking to travel or whatnot, you can also check out the check out this site. Uh, check out befitting or um, uh, for some glasses or whatever. And uh, you need a computer, check out Refurb. And then if you need some lighting, check out Safari. Um, and uh, so they have some really pretty lighting over at Safari. So you want to check that out. All right. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, and also another thing you can do is when you listen to the show, listen via the podcast. Because when you listen via the podcast... Um, I actually make money uh, through the commercials. And so until I'm able to actually get commercials on my own, um, I, that's the one of, one of the way that I can make money for the show is when you listen to the podcast, you know, listen to it here on the radio, just listen over and over again. Um, there's even a podcast page. Uh, so, but it's under distribution list and, um, I tried to change that to podcast, but. Uh, anyway, and so you can do that. And, uh, if you want to advertise on the show, there's a button for that too. Just click on the word advertise. All right. All righty then. And that's right at the top. I might be moving that down to the bottom because it does seem kind of thirsty to put it up there. <laughs> and so anyway, uh, know that Jesus loves you 100%. God wants the best for you always. God's, God won't, his name is Jesus. The father's name is Jehovah, the Lord God. I am. He also goes by Jehovah Adonai, which is our God almighty. Jehovah Jireh, which is the Lord, uh, Lord God, our provider, Emmanuel, Jehovah Shammah. And so, um, those are the names of the Lord, the father. And you have Jesus. Amen. Our Lord, our Savior, Waymaker. But Jesus Christ is his name. Christ means the anointing. So it's Jesus, Son of God, and the anointing. So Jesus is his name, which means Savior. And then Christ is the anointing. That comes from the Lord. Uh, and uh, the anointing, the glory of God. The anointing comes from the Father. And the glory comes from the Father. Uh, and you should know that the glory is the heart of man. Uh, and so that's, that's all those millions of people saved in heaven from what I was told. I think that's how I go. Anyway, that, that was a revelation that I had gotten. So if I'm wrong, then let me know. But, uh, the glory has to deal with the uh, heart of man being redeemed back to the father, the soul of man. Amen. Remember the father thinks it, Jesus loves it and the Holy spirit does it. Amen. You're listening to LUTGradio.com, WKKP, Digital Broadcasting. My name is Kathy Brox, and this is the LUTG Radio Show, Friday. Amen, amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. You are wonderful. Lord God, you're marvelous. Amen, amen, amen. I'm in love with my wonderful God. 
I'm in love with my beautiful Lord, Jesus.